Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you will enjoy the video and as always, thank you so much for watching. Three things I wish I knew before I started dating. No man is hotter than me. No man is funnier than me. And no man is smarter than me. Yeah, right. Okay, Einstein, I don't even need to be smarter than you to see that the end result is the same. You're single posting TikToks. So what exactly would have been different if you knew those three things before you started dating? Don't tell me you're looking to date when all you want to do is this, okay? I expect dates. I expect accountability. I expect communication. Grow up! <laughs> no. And you yelling is not going to make me grow up. And the whole point of dating is that we reach the point when we're going to do that. And you expecting things? <laughs> no. For all the people saying that we're making so much progress, what, what more could we want? Um, yeah, we want boys to stop being raised like this. Yeah, so I can understand you're bothered by this because there's another woman arguing with you. But what exactly are you arguing with? She just said that she's gonna trust her son. You expect her son to grow up not knowing that her mother is putting her trust in him? What exactly are you arguing with? Boys being raised like what? Boys being raised right? First of all, love that. Second of all, I recently found out that some of you, like, reach for the bill, A, or B, will feel offended when a man offers to pay. What are you, what are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? Stop. I think one of the most dangerous things to the progression of women's rights are the women who have to, like, show and prove to men that they're, like, thriving under patriarchy. Literally think about that. Think about that. We, as a, as a group, as a collective, women get paid less than men. But there are so many women who, when they go out on dates, like have to prove, of course I can pay. I'm offended that you think I couldn't pay for myself. What is that mentality? You're helping no one. And you're losing money? Like, think, Miss Girl. Who is this helping? Who is this benefiting at the end of the day that you are so eager and willing to show that you can pay half of the crumbs you've gotten? You should not be ashamed to expect chivalry in a system that has made it necessary. Please understand that. And just remember that the reason men started paying on dates is because someone decided women shouldn't own land or have credit cards. That's not your fault. Ah, uh, the pay gap, the patriarch, and uh, who decided what? Are you even aware that it's 2022? Your credit score is probably below sea level and you're still not sure that you're allowed to have a credit card and own land? I should have become a shrink, I would have made a fortune. The biggest red flag I've ever seen in a guy is probably just the fact that uh, they're a guy. Yeah, I know, right? Google Translate decided to argue with me for a second there, but, you know, I don't care either way. But the answer is quite easy. If they're a guy, just don't date him. I don't care how much I like somebody. The second that I realize that they might not be as invested in me or might not see my value, I immediately lose interest. Doesn't necessarily mean that I lose my feelings right away or that I'm not sad. But I recognize that if somebody doesn't see my worth, it's going to set myself up for failure. Because what happens if we like somebody, but they don't see our worth, what do we do? We try to prove ourselves to them and be like, see my worth, see my worth, look how awesome I am. Date me, be with me, commit to me. Y'all, that is exhausting and draining and probably the biggest toll on self-esteem. Because as we work so hard to prove our worth to somebody else and they don't see it, we start to feel unworthy. We start to feel like, dang, maybe I don't have anything to offer. Like, nah, babe, you got a lot to offer. That person just isn't seeing it. Stop trying to prove your worth to somebody that's never going to see it and have the confidence to know your worth and walk away. Yeah, you mean like value, value. All you talk about is your worth, but what exactly is your worth? How am I going to end up seeing your worth if you're going to say no from the beginning?
how exactly I'm gonna prove my word to you if we're not even gonna be dating. And from the beginning, you mean I could be broke, borrow some money, take you on a fancy restaurant for a dinner date, and you're gonna see my word? You're gonna see nothing. Knowing someone's word takes a lot of time, and I hate to break it to you, but it's up to you as well to show me your word. The only thing that will f*** you better than me is karma. Yeah, and the only thing that will better than me is time. Y'all like to comment stuff like, who raised those terrible men? Hmm? Who raised those awful men that you hate so much? Women! Um, y'all seem to forget that even women are raised to hate themselves. We are all raised to look at women as inferior. So yes, even women are raising their sons and daughters to be misogynistic as well. It goes in a circle. We have to stop it. But a majority of women are aware of this and trying to change it. Men are the ones that don't think there's a problem. Yeah, but you said it yourself, women. Us men, we're going to be over here watching you trying to fix this problem. We're gonna have drinks, popcorn, 3D glasses, all of that, and I bet it's gonna be the biggest comedy I've seen in my life. It pains me that it pains me to, like, say no and set the standard to things. This guy I was supposed to go on a date with tonight, it's actually his second date, texted me literally, like, Five minutes ago, it is 5.20 p.m. to confirm the date. And in my book, that is just like a no-no. Also, it wasn't to confirm. He's like, do you still want to go tonight? Like, what time do you want to meet up? You asked me to hang out. I'm not out here begging for a second date. Or somehow, I feel bad for some reason. I feel bad. And I was like, sorry, I made other plans tonight. I think I feel bad because he actually seems like a nice guy. But, like, standards are still standards. They don't change. Also, you didn't have two minutes before 5.20 p.m. to just say, like, hey, wanted to confirm. It's simply not asking for too much. So I feel like I'm missing something. You said 520 twice. So is that of some importance to you and we should all know about it? He texted you five minutes before 520. Okay, that's not 520, that's 515. Why is that matter? Why is that important? And you probably feel bad because you found out some dumb reason to say no. It's like me saying I don't want to go on a date because at 9 p.m. I hold my breath for a minute. I am actually not, but even if I was, why is that part of the conversation? <laughs> what in the world did I just watch? How, when, how did we get to this point? I don't even know what you want me to say. What, woof? Sit, roll over. I can't do this anymore. I need a drink. So I'm gonna end this video here. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.